Yes, you want it? Yes. For the sake of argument, we want a brand new sofa for our living room. What's 90% of us going to do? Anyone? Huh? Yeah, you're going to buy a sofa for $1,500 and go $500 in debt. That's what 90% of Americans do. The top 9% will buy a, you know, a sofa for 1000 bucks or less and live debt free. But the millionaires, look, I'm a fanatic for gum and mints and stuff. I just like it a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invest my money and think like a millionaire. You see, what they'll do is I'll go buy a big red bubble gum machine. You know those ones you see at the mall? They cost $750 brand new. I'll take the other 250 bucks, buy bubble gum in bulk for a penny each, and fill it full. I put that machine in the mall, and kids will come by and put how much in it? <laughs> for a bubble gum that cost me how much? So they trade me a quarter for a penny, quarter for a penny. Before you know it, I would make well over $1,000 in pure profit, go buy the sofa lift debt free. But the millionaires understand the simple philosophy, the principle, that they created themselves a machine that will continue to make them money month after month after month. That's what Craig here has done. That's how he's created great life of sustained abundance. That's what it is. It's not about getting rich. It's sustained abundance. And you can keep it going on and on and on. By the way, does anyone want a free copy? Yeah. <laughs> music, rap music, and classical through the airways right now. Yes. But if we had a receiver in front of us and dialed it in, could we not pull that in? Yeah. Well, isn't it all the same concept that love, romance, fitness, wellness, well-being, riches, and all around us too? Yeah. And certain people know how to dial in a certain frequency and start downloading into the world? Yeah. This movie actually shows you how to do that. Who would like a... <laughs> 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 now, this one I recommend everyone have in their library. It's called The Pendulum. Now, Michael Drew came and speaks to your group, I, I think, a, a year ago. Now, the whole idea is this. Back in the 1960s and 70s, it was make love, not war, the we society, right? In the 80s, it became a me society. Everyone was up looking out for themselves. In 2000s, it became a greed society, and everything imploded itself. Well, what happened is we're sliding back here to the 60s and 70s. That's why people are not following people anymore, but they're following causes and movement. And this book is basically a crystal ball to show you what's coming next. Take it out of my hand. You ever want to have it? All right, there you go. <laughs> this one I just came out with is called Universal Wish. Everyone's got one. Written by the, uh, uh, the, the founder of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Put your hands together. Frank Schenken with Frank. <laughs> Everyone's heard of this guy named Napoleon Hill. Hey, raise your hand if you heard of Think and Grow Rich or Napoleon Hill. Okay, here's the story. Here's the story. This came from the archives of Napoleon Hill Foundation, by the way. Nobody has this. This is his first edition, his archival information. I'm going to tell you guys a story behind the story. So the way it works, hold on, settle down, settle down. Age 23 years old, the boy held an aspiring magazine reporter. Quiet. Magazine reporter. He gains access to the richest dude in the world. His name's Andrew Carnegie. He started U.S. Steel Corporation. This guy was so rich, he's like putting Bill Gates... Oprah, Branson, all these dudes in one place at one time. One guy was richer than all that put together. And what happened is that he gained access to this guy. It was supposed to be a three-hour interview. It turns out to be three full days and three full nights. At the end of it, Carnegie says, I'm going to give you an opportunity. He goes, work for me for free for 20 years, and I'll send you on a mission to meet all my friends. The boy in hell reached in his pocket and says, work for free for what? He goes, man, I got nothing to lose. I got everything to gain. Mr. Carnegie, not only will I accept it, I'll actually complete that mission. Carnegie says, you got a job. Hill says, well, why are people going to talk to me? I'm just a kid. I'm no writing. Carnegie says, I'll write you a letter of recommendation when you see it. So no, I sent you. Give you all the time you need. Sat down with Edison at Einstein, Ford, Alexander Graham Bell. So he sat down with the greatest icon and wrote what we know now as a personal development Bible that you wrote rich. But here's what's really cool about that. See, Carnegie only gave his guests 60 seconds to make up his choice. And when Napoleon Hill walked out of the office, there was 31 seconds left on that clock. But here's where it gets good. Carnegie made that same offer to 250 men before Napoleon Hill. He was the 
only guy that said yes. That's in 1908. Fast forward to 2008, the president and CEO of the Napoleon Hill Foundation writes that same letter and they gave it to me. Wow. And they gave me an opportunity to follow this guy's footsteps and travel the world to meet the most powerful and influential people of today to tell their story. The first person I sat down with is a gentleman named Dave Lederer. You want to get in 